Hi I'm Brian your friendly pharmacist. Let's have a look at how to effectively counsel patients on new medications. In this video we'll look at what is involved in medication counseling and how to deliver information with examples. Let's get right into it. There are six key steps to effective medication counseling. The first is clarifying what the medication is for. The patient may have already received this information from the doctor however reinforcing it has been found to assist with adherence. You can do this by asking the patient, what has the doctor prescribed this medication for or what did the doctor say the diagnosis was. This will also allow you to confirm that the correct medication was prescribed for the condition. The second step is to clearly state how and when to take the medication. For example, your doctor has prescribed sertraline 50 mg daily, I recommend taking one full tablet in the morning with breakfast. Taking the medication first thing in the morning can prevent insomnia which is a common side effect of this medication. Next we need to set timeline expectations so the patient is aware how long the medication may take to work. This is especially important in medications where results may not be immediate. In the case of sertraline you might say something like, This medication takes time to work. It might take one to two weeks before you notice the difference and up to a month before you know if it's working effectively. This will prepare the patient and increase medication adherence. Step 4 is stating common side effects. It is important to provide this information without overwhelming the patient. Remember you can always give them a consumer medicines information leaflet from the TGA website. Step 5 is providing non-pharmacological and lifestyle advice. For a patient that has come in with a prescription for sertraline you could emphasize how a healthy diet and exercise play a key role in reducing depressive symptoms. You could also refer them on to support groups like Beyond Blue or Lifeline. All advice should be catered to the individual patient and their lifestyle. Step 6 is to always offer written information. Most patients have been found to only remember 5 pieces of information after a consultation, and so giving them additional information to take home can be extremely beneficial. This guide to effective medication counseling will apply in most situations, however it is important to remember not to overwhelm the patient especially during the first consultation. Stick to key points and if needed, schedule a follow-up appointment with them at a later date. I hope this video helped and please don't forget to subscribe and share this with your colleagues. See you next time.